Hello everyone, my name is Master Sarmaran and welcome back for more. Let's get to a better spot here so I can do this. Hello everyone, my name is Master Sarmaran and welcome back for more. Let's play Super Mario Sunshine. The sun is finally out. When we reached 60 shine sprites last time, not only did we brighten up all of Isle Delfino, but we also started exploring Noki Bay and we solved a pollution crisis there. Now when we go back there, the world will be beautiful again. Even though it was already really beautiful, even with the poison water, but that was really pretty. And this guy is still as clueless as ever for assuming that this area is still dark. Dude, no. It's bright out. Let's go off to Noki Bay here. Episode 5 is to Antissimo Surf Swim. This guy is back again. I, I never know. Is this... Is it Il Piantissimo or Tu... I guess it's supposed to be Il Piantissimo, but I always... Called him Tu Piantissimo for some reason. I don't know why. But... Yeah. Yeah, hopefully all our people will return home again. We owe it all to you. Thanks again. And say, do you know that guy? I've been waiting up there for you for quite a while. Oh. Yep, we can now go swimming out here. I can see a blue coin off in the distance, too. I'm not going to worry about these two blue coins, in fact, actually. People apparently have problems with the blue coins in this level, but again, we'll worry about that probably in the next video when we have more reason to do so. Ho ho, foolish man. Yes, I am Il Piantissimo. Yes, that is me. And now I challenge you to erase that flag. Race, you say? Race to the finish. Best time is 40 seconds. Are you ready? Get set and go! Again, proper music this time. Or proper jingle. He kind of takes off running, but... This race is really, really, really easy. Especially with that, like... Punching... Bag that we can use there. He just takes a super long pathway here. So we get to climb the flagpole here. That's actually not something that... I feel like I didn't even do that very optimally, and we still did really well there. Oh man, we... we's quite speedy. You're like a fish. You may not be the slow clam chomper I took you for. You may race again. Watch for me. Well, while since we've seen you two, this whole world's just... It's been a while, you know? It's like that Stained song. You know, we fought too many bosses that we haven't seen in a while, and now we s see this guy who we haven't seen in a while. Huh. And mission six is, in fact, the shell secret. You know the deal. It's a secret level here. I think this may be the best of the secret levels in the game. Maybe. It's hard to say, but... This one's actually quite a lot of fun. What do you have to say about this mission here, actually, I wonder? I'm tied to destiny, I'm afraid. Pathway to another world is open above our fair land. Surely you go there? Of course, you must go there. Apologize for involving you in all this. Good luck. We'll cheer you on from here. Farewell. Sure. Um, so yeah, this mission's interesting in that there's kind of like two main ways you can go here. Take this way. It's been so long since I've kind of gone this way. I actually don't really remember how this mission works. I've always kind of gone from above here to get to where we're going here. Um. Yeah, there's just a number of ways you can go to reach this dang shell here. Um. Oh shoot, I'm gonna be attacked there. If I can bounce off this here, I think that's pretty much all I need. Can I wall jump here, I wonder? Yes. Okay, that's not how I usually go to get in this level here at all, but that's a thing you can do, I guess. And... Backgrounds back to being similar to the ones from... God, is this, is this back to the... Like, Bianco Hills type background. I think it basically is, but we probably have the most, like, obstacle course version of one of these levels, probably of them all, so... Yeah, let's kind of go ahead and get things rolling here. 
We have some spinning platforms of different varieties. We have some stuff we actually have to use proper wall jumps for. And thankfully these ones, like once they've reached the, uh, these orange tips kind of give you a good idea of like how far into the wall they go out, which is nice to kind of keep in mind. That wall jump part can be a little tricky because, yeah, it's like, you know, we're wall jumping up a section there. And climbing the flagpole there. I just really like this one for how unique it is, I guess, to put it mildly here. We got some more wall jumping here. Um, kind of have a tricky jump coming up here. I don't know what the intended way to do this is, but yeah, I always jump on that screw and do a side flip. That's usually, like, kind of the go-to method I find that works best here. So, yeah, that's kind of, like, my my usual go-to with that. And we just have some more of these here. I want to say this obstacle's in, like, probably the most of the, like, those, like, rotating blocks there that rotate on all four sides there. They're probably the most prominent obstacle in these areas here. And when you're all the way up to the top here, we just have one more of these left here. And... Yeah, it's not too bad. Just kind of take your time with this one here. It's... Again, it's a lot of stuff we've seen already, but it's used in really clever and creative ways. I'm all... I, I say this every bonus mission, but... I'm shocked I got through this on my first try, if I'm being honest. It's a fun level, though. I genuinely think this is a really fun level, and... This kind of ties into something I wanted to talk about with this Let's Play here, is that... In my original Let's Play, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, I... I don't think I did Noki Bay very much justice at all. And I really love this world a lot. I really do, but... Um, the first video, I was just in a really, really bad mood, from what I remember, like, I was... I was, like, really pissed about Mario Galaxy 2 for some reason, because that, that game was, like, still... It, this is how old my old Let's Play was. Galaxy 2 was, like, a few months old at the time, and... I remember being really pissed at, like, the huge critical reception of that game for some reason, because, like... At the time, I was, like... Basically, the only person on the internet, it felt like, who liked the first Galaxy more. And, as we all know, how dare anybody have different opinion on internet, I guess. But, like, I was just, like, really pissed when I recorded the first video, and then... When I recorded, like, this bonus mission and, like, a lot of the later levels of Noki Bay, like, I just... Like, cut most of it out, and sped it up, and, like, it was, like, the one thing about, like, that part of the LP that I just was never happy about. So, yeah, that's... God, this is such a beautiful view, man, like, such a beautiful view. I'm heading up this way, I'll mention here, if you get 100 coins in this area here, um, in Noki Bay, this is where the 100 coin shine spawns. This is usually how I prefer going about my way of getting into this bonus area here. I even kind of messed that up and still did that, but... Yeah, it's like... Looking back, that was like the one thing about the original LP, besides some of the technical issues I had with it, that... I was like, this isn't good, man. I love this level. I don't want to be cutting out the things I love about this level while playing freaking... Duke Nukem music, because I was doing that back in those days, because I was like, why not, and... Dumb. Dumb stuff all around. Anyways, collect the eight red coins before time runs out. We know the song and dance. Let's, uh, kind of go ahead and get things going here. This mission is a lot easier with Flood, as you can probably imagine, but the red coins can be in some tricky locations here. They can definitely be in some tricky locations. There's one up here. There's one kind of at the top of this here, which I didn't really... Okay, that was lucky there. Thank God I grabbed that edge there. Um, 
camera, can you please work with me better here? We're also not given too much time. This is like a minute and a half to do this here. When I first like read through these areas in the strategy guide and I saw that like the one in Pina Park, the Yoshi Go Round secret was longer than this, I was like, why is that one like longer than this? Cause this one's like way more involved, man, and it's so much bigger and longer and uncut, and why am I making a South Park reference now? I didn't know what that was when I was seven years old, but no, it's... It's all good, though. And for some reason, this preview doesn't render in, like, the green and other spinning platforms there. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> but... Pretty fun red coin mission, all things considered. It, it, I was kind of getting close to the time on that one, too. Like, you can't really dilly-dally on that one. You're only given a minute and a half, and I think it's a pretty good challenge. I genuinely think it's a good challenge. And this sounds really weird, but I think we're, for the last thing of this level, we're actually not going to do Shadow Mario. I think we're going to cover the other bonus mi mission of this level here, because... There is another bonus area here, and it's kind of in a weird spot. So, I'm gonna go back into Shell's Secret, and there's one huge area, you can actually kind of see it on the preview here, there's a huge area here of Noki Bay that has a lot of stuff in it, and it, the only Shine Sprite tied to this area, besides I guess 100 coins maybe, is the secret shine, because this one's not really tied to any specific mission, I don't think. So, we have these big old cliffs and kind of wild areas that we can go to here. Um, this tunnel here, I believe, takes you over... First of all, you can see how many coins are in this area here. It takes you over to this spot here. I think there's a blue coin hidden somewhere around here, I'm pretty sure. But if you bounce all the way up here, we notice that was a golden bird. That golden bird is, in fact, a shine sprite. There's actually a golden bird in the plaza as well that we could have seen since, like, the beginning of the game, I believe. I'll kind of allude to the island that it's at anyway and show off where it's at. We could have had one of these shine sprites for a long time that's like this, but... Yeah, that's actually the, like, 10th secret mission shine of this area here. I'll just quickly show off, like, kind of the general location of where that golden bird is, and then probably, probably call that a video here. I apologize if this one's a little bit shorter compared to the last couple, but... I mean, we still got four shine sprites, so... Still making good progress. Over on that island there, the one with the burning fire there, there's a golden bird over there that gives you a shine sprite. I believe the shine shows up over on, like, that, like, skinny island over there. So, yeah. Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we only have a little bit left of Noki Bay. We have one of my favorite missions coming up. I know I've said that about the red coins in a bottle one, but we have that. We have like <clears throat> Shadow Mario and then we just have blue and hundred coins so it's gonna be one you won't want to miss because we have a lot of stuff that a lot of people would probably find infamous that I find really fun so I'll see you guys for that then have yourselves a great day and peace out